happy Sabbath. I am happy that you are joining us today as we fellowship under the theme Thanksgiving. I am Darrell Nelson, your superintendent for today. At this time, we'll invite Shamika Beckles to give us our opening prayer, followed by the welcome by Akiva Alika. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for good life. Thank you for good health. Thank you for the food to eat. Thank you for the thank you for the roofs over my over our head. Please continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, everyone. The humble task is mine to welcome you to our special Sabbath service. Parents, boys and girls. Would you agree with me by saying that today is a great day for all of us? Yes, indeed. In fact, it's a high day in heaven. It's God's holy Sabbath day, and we, his children, are called to give him the highest of praise and thanks. My fellow brothers and sisters, let us all make a joyful noise unto our God for the many indescribable gifts he has bestowed upon us day after day. Once again, Let's worship God with praises and thanksgiving as our team song saints. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Thank you, Shamika and Akiva. God's timing is always perfect. So let's listen and sing along to these two songs, after which we will be listening to our nature nugget. God sent his son. They called him Jesus, he came to love, he learned forgive, he lived and died, to buy my pardon, an empty grip is there to prove my Savior lived, because he
to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in praise. And I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in Good morning everyone. Happy Sabbath. Today for our nature nugget we'll be looking at plants. Look at these plants. Is it possible to live without them? Certainly not. The creation of our world as mentioned in the Bible was done in an orderly fashion leading, its, leading up to its completion. God was building a beautiful and healthy place that would eventually be ready for man. On the third day, created plants. Every time we take a step, we can remember the power of the awesome God. Not only was this creation of plants miraculous, it is a wonderful miracle of God that each living plant was created in such a way that it could reproduce itself through seeds, pollination, etc. Have you ever thought about how many difficulties we may have to face if there were no plants in our planet Earth? Our very basic needs are food, clothes, and shelter. We know this. It is quite true that these three basic needs cannot be fulfilled without plants. Any vegetables, rice, lentils, spices, everything we can get. The clothes we wear is made from cotton, which comes from plants. The boys and girls, boys and girls, the paper we draw on and write on, wood we use for building house, even the oxygen we breathe in com comes from the plants. Every time you see a fruit, vegetable like humes, wear clothes, colorful flowers, and luxurious green trees everywhere, take a minute to thank God for giving us plants. Thank you. Now we will have their scripture reading by Danica Matthews and Niall Simon. I have the 107 verse 1 says, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good for his mercy and doing forever. Everything is thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. First Thessalonians 5, 18. 
boys and girls, to bless our heart with a musical rendition is Denacia Nelson. She will be followed by Nove Simon, who will do our lesson with you. The message for today is, Jesus sees our needs and helps us. The memory verse for it is by grace you have been saved. Through faith it is the gift of God. Ephesians 2 verse 8. I repeat, for it is by grace you have been saved. Through faith it is the gift of God. Ephesians 2 verse 8. Have you ever wanted something very much and had to wait a long time for it? Maybe you wanted a new toy or a watch. Or maybe you were sick for a long time and wanted to get well quickly. The man in our story today knew what it was to want something very badly and have to wait a long time for it. Now Jesus was in Jerusalem. He went to the pool of Bethsaida. He saw many sick people. And there was a man that was crippled for 38 years. Jesus healed the man and told him, Get up, pick up your bed, and go home. Later, Jesus met the man in the temple. The man is overjoyed and he tells everyone he meets the good news about Jesus. That day, Jesus healed a man, a man's body. Jesus' healing grace also brought him back to God. With, with love, Jesus says to us, Will you be healed? He wants us to be healthy in body and spirit. He wants to pour out his grace on us too. Will you accept him today and let him be your savior too? I thank God for giving us all the different gifts and talent at this time. I would like to invite Miss 
Odella Hilkin as she gave us our children's story. Let's listen and be very quiet, boys and girls. and girls and welcome to Sabbath school it's now our story time so our story for today is all about showing gratitude or simply saying two magic words that mean so much thank you have you ever forgotten to say thank you to someone how do you think that person felt and how did you feel knowing that you forgot to say thank you well, today's story is all about 10 men who Jesus healed, but only one remember to say thank you. All right, our story for today is found in the book of Luke, chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. So these 10 men were what was called lepers because they suffered from a very contagious disease by the name of leprosy. This disease was so terrible that it required persons to leave their homes and live far away from their friends, their families, and all their loved ones. They could not come among people. If anyone came too close to them, they had to shout, unclean, unclean, and chase them away. So when these ten men came to Jesus for healing, he did not chase them away. Instead, he gladly healed them and told them, go, show yourself to the priest so that he can declare you clean and you can return to your family so these men rushed off in a hurry because they were so excited but in their excitement they forgot to say thank you only one man remembered to stop turn back and told jesus thank you so you see sometimes we get so caught up in our lives and all the things that are happening that we forget to say thank you. Sometimes we even forget to thank Jesus for waking us up in the morning. So you see, we must always remember to say thank you. That one man who stopped and turned back to tell Jesus thanks, he reminds us daily that we should stop what we're doing and show real gratitude to not only Jesus, but also to all the persons who do little things or even the big things for us. We say thank you to persons for the simplest things that they do, simply for sharing their lunch with us when we don't have any, for lending us a pencil, for tying our shoelaces, for all these little tiny things that persons do. We must make sure they feel appreciated and remember to say thank you. Also, when was the last time that you thanked God for something? You know, thank Him for life, for health, for your family, for your parents, for food, anything. When was the last time you stopped and thanked God for that? If you did not, then I encourage you to please remember to say thank you. Alright, so God wants us to have grateful hearts. He wants us to show our thanks to Him and to everyone who does things for us, whether great or small. When we are thankful, we let other people know that we appreciate them. We also remind ourselves over and over how blessed we truly are. The greatest blessing of all is the gift of life and salvation. Jesus Christ came to this earth. He died to save us from our sins. 
and he promised that someday soon he is returning to take us home with him. So that is the greatest blessing that we can have, the gift of salvation. So saying thank you is a great habit. It should not be a mindless habit, you know, just saying thank you because we have to say thank you. But when we say thank you, we must mean it. We must be intentional so persons will know that we truly appreciate all that they did for us. Alright, so we must always remember to go out of our way to show how much God and our loved ones care for us by simply saying thank you. So, don't just remember to don't just say the words thank you, but mean the words thank you when you say. So, let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Lord, we thank you today for all the blessings that you have given us. We thank you for health, for strength, for internet, so that we can connect virtually. We also ask you to help us to always be grateful for the kindness of others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Goodbye, boys and girls. Have a great Sabbath and remember to always say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. While the world looks upon me as I struggle along, they say, Our sermon today is entitled, 
Give thanks in everything. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for blessing us through another week. Be with the boys and girls. Help them to listen very closely and understand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading is taken from Psalms 104 and 5. And it reads, Enter his gate with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. We have a lot to be thankful for, don't we? What are some of the things you are thankful for? Our parents, friends, toys, and even technology. Who should we thank for that all for all that we have? That's right. We should give thanks to God. The Bible tells us that every good and perfect gift comes from God. When someone gives you a gift, you say thank you. When do you think we should say thank you to God? Should we have one day each year that we give thanks? Or should we have one day each week that we give thanks? I think every day should be a day of thanksgiving. Don't you agree? Our Bible lesson today says, Show for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his people. We are the sheep of his pastors. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and praise his name, for the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. A lot of people don't even take time to thank God. But as the children of God, we have to make sure we keep giving thanks. We have to make sure we take time to thank God for all the ways that he's blessed us. Like it says in Psalms 105.1, All give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. What if it was a beautiful, sunshiny day outside? What could we thank God for? We could thank him for the nice weather. But what if it was rainy all day? What could we thank God for then? We could thank God for the rain to help the grass and other plants grow. Or what if someone was sick? And we prayed that they would get better. And then they did get better. What could we thank God for in that situation? We could thank God for healing that person and making them healthy again. But what if we prayed and then God didn't heal the person? What if the person died? What could we thank God for then? We could thank him for the good life the person had lived and that we'll see them in heaven again someday. See, boys and girls, whether things are good or bad, we can always thank God for something. That's why Paul always tells us to give thanks in all circumstances. Let us start now as we pray and give thanks. Father God, we thank you for being a good God. You are so good that no matter what happens, we can always thank you for something. Help us to not see, to see the good in every situation so that we can always give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this program and all the children who participated today. We also thank you for the message we have received from the messenger. Please bless us all and the message. May your words bear fruits upon our hearts. Keep us safe, we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you everyone who participated.
Thank you for serving with a willing heart and a joyful spirit. Thanks to all the boys and girls who've shared your homes with us today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Do enjoy the rest of your Sabbath. Thank you.